You may not know his inventions, but you use them every day. From the dimmer switch in your living room to the LEDs that shine from your home stereo, dashboard, and coffee makers, Nick Holonyak's work has transformed the science of light. Born in southern Illinois, where his father was a coal miner, Holonyak became interested in science at an early age. My godfather was always working on his Model T and there were uh, spark coils for the ignition in there. And I learned about those spark coils and then uh, there were a couple of other kids that I played with where we tried to make telephone systems and, and uh, we were working with electrical things all the time, electric bells and that type of thing. Holniak came to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign to study. It was there he met his great mentor, the Nobel laureate John Bardeen, one of the inventors of the transistor. What I was doing was working on uh, semiconductor devices and transistors and that type of thing. And when I left John Bardeen's laboratory, I went to Bell Labs and we were working on silicon. It was the original work that led in the direction of the integrated circuit. Holonyak knew that semiconductors could emit light. But while other researchers focused on infrared wavelengths, Holonyak looked at the problem from a different angle. I wanted to work in the visible spectrum where the human eye sees, and everybody else was working in the infrared. Holonyak's vision paid off. In 1962, he invented and fabricated a new crystal, gallium arsenide phosphide, which resulted in the first visible light-emitting diode, or LED. It was an endeavor that totally consumed him. You can't leave that type of thing. It, it catches you. It's, it's like honey for bees, I guess. What began as the little red light on your alarm clock has evolved into a range of display technologies like these multi-story Times Square billboards. But this is only the beginning of what Holonyak sees as the LED's potential. We're not talking about just little bitty light sources. We're talking about light sources that are going to become huge and that can challenge uh, general lighting. After years of refinement, LEDs can now emit light that is far more intense than incandescent bulbs. In the future, they'll be used on everything from car tail lights and headlights to street lights, and one day, even for general lighting of homes and businesses. Yet these powerful light emitters consume much less power than today's lights. Generating light by more efficient processes is really uh, to our advantage. Holignac's discoveries have transformed not only lighting, but other technologies as well. His quantum well lasers make possible CD and DVD players, as well as fiber optic systems worldwide. So I always felt that I could make what I wanted. And I don't think I ever changed my attitude about that. If I see something I like, I'm going to learn how to make it. I have over 30 patents with more that are in progress. But when I think about it, we invent all the time in the laboratory little tricks for doing various things. And if I had been in industry all the time, I think there would have been many more filings for some of the items. Throughout his career at the University of Illinois, Holonyak has mentored 60 postgraduate students, many of whom have gone on to start advanced optics companies. But Holonyak insists that the creative process starts long before students set foot in his lab, and that inventiveness begins by abandoning one's inhibitions and taking the plunge. Make some notes, make a diagram, do something. If you see a, something that you're questioning that doesn't look like it's made right, is there something you could do to it to make it better? Even if it's elementary and small, do something small because if you, after you do something small, you'll do something bigger and bigger and bigger. 